<clears throat> so we do have our Contra Costa County Department of Conservation Development Development Unit with a, a presentation update. And so I want to welcome Allison Greenlee, our Econ Development Manager. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thanks, George. Um, Okay, so I'm going to try to get through these um, slides pretty quickly, um, but I wanted to provide an overview um, of today's presentation. Um, one of the key things that's going on um, in the county's Department of Conservation and Development right now is um, the county's update of the draft general plan and climate action plan. So um, I'm looking at my notes because I'm not the expert by any means on this update, but it is super important. and. Um, you have brochures at your seats um, that describe the draft, draft general plan and draft climate action plan. So it's really important. It's really important for business and industry moving forward. Um, some of the things that are that have taken place is that the land use designations have been consolidated. Um, there's just a whole lot more um, information at Envision Contra Costa 2040. Um, and uh, George and myself and the economic development team, we work super closely with um, the, co uh, the sustainability coordinator, um, Jody London, um, our uh, current planning, advanced planning teams. Um, uh, and, and we're looking forward to, um, to having more involvement with them moving forward. So I did just want to touch on the um, general plan and climate action plan because they're just so important and they're really um, kind of like guideposts um, for uh, economic development efforts uh, as well. So um, with that, I'm gonna uh, launch into um, just some updates on economic development. Um, so this comes directly from the county's uh, general plan update. Um, and I really love this statement. It says that, um, the economic development policies and actions aim to develop the county's workforce, attract and support sustainable businesses and industries um, that provide those living wage or high wage, uh, high road jobs, invest in hiring from the local workforce and engage with, with communities. Um, investment in the diversified industries supports the economic, as supported by economic development policy, promotes innovation, builds the tax base and allows residents to work in the county where they live. So, um, yeah, just want to recognize the county for um, the, you know, their efforts on the general plan and the climate action plan, um, and just love this statement um, focused on economic development that comes right out of the general plan. Um, one of the key things that the county is working on um, that it, that comes right out of the, the climate action plan, um, the county declaration of a climate emergency in the year 2020, um, is the county's Just Transition Economic Revitalization Plan. Um, it's led by the, count, the uh, County Sustainability Committee. Um, and there's more information that you can get by signing up for updates for the County Sustainability Committee and the Sustainability Commission. Um, one of the things that's really key about a Just Transition Economic Re Revitalization Plan is that it's a process. Um, it's a process, and, it, and most importantly, it's a process that seeks input from impacted communities and, um, and impacted workers. Um, it's, uh, it's a set of strategies that seeks to address an historic injustice by seeking the sustained input of those communities most impacted by the envir environmental burdens of the climate crisis um, and is a plan for improving the health, safety, infrastructure, and job opportunities for residents in these communities and ultimately results in a plan for a transition away from an economy that is dependent on fossil fuels towards a zero emission economy and an economy that supports clean and green energy. Um, so that's what it is in a nutshell. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go into um, all the details of um, these various slides, um, but um, it is a two-year planning process. Um, and um, it, it really starts and ends with community engagement um, and support. Um, and so that's highlighted here. Um, the, you know, the communities um, that, are, that are highlighted here are where outreach will take place. And, um, and then um, connected to that is the county's Northern Waterfront Economic Development Initiative. 
I don't know if I need to go into too much detail um, in this room because um, I think most people are familiar with this initiative, but um, it is an initiative that's, that is led by the county's um, ad hoc committee on the Northern Waterfront. Um, there are various cities that are partners to the initiative, um, probably what makes it the most unique. And of course, it's an, an initiative to attract 18,000 new jobs to the Northern Waterfront by the year 2035. One of the key ways that the county is working to do that is through, um, thank you, MTC ABAG, um, planning through the priority production areas. So um, we've already discussed today um, the importance of infrastructure planning, power, um, transmission and distribution to attract those new clean and green sustainable in industries. Um, and um, the county has, um, through partnership with MTC ABAG um, and the cities that are listed on this map, um, a grant to, to conduct some of that infrastructure planning for the priority production areas um, that are listed here. Um, the county also has a policy on participating in enhanced infrastructure financing districts. Um, this is a policy that has not been utilized yet, but it is a funding mechanism um, that exists um, in the county. Um, we know that, you know, CalEd, we're looking forward to attending your finance summit um, coming up in January to just kind of get more um, information and assets about how this uh, tool can be utilized. Um, also, um, we've talked about cl how important cleanup um, of, of sites um, is. And so one of the things that um, the county is looking at is the cleanup and redevelopment of brownfields um, through various types of grants. Um, we've been supporting a lot of different efforts, um, very interested in going after um, a grant ourselves uh, um, to be able to attract some of that funding. Um, the county is also home to a recycling market development zone. Um, this allows for uh, low interest loans to businesses. Um, probably another one of those things that's going to become even more relevant um, in the current you know, financial um, market. Um, it's also exciting because it provides things called zone incentive funds for companies to run pilot projects. Um, using uh, recycled materials or waste materials to manufacture new products um, in the county's recycling market development zone. Um, and then, of course, AB uh, 844 was legislation at the state level that um, basically named out Contra Costa County, saying that um, it's a special economic development um, zone. It's a green empowerment zone um, for the development of clean and green energy. And so um, the county's support for the green empowerment zone um, is going to be really important moving forward. And I know that there are a lot of different um, entities in this room that are going to be part of that process as well. Um, and I should mention too that it's funded to, to $5 million from the state of California. Um, lastly, you know, our team, um, George and myself, uh, work, you know, super closely with a lot of the economic development managers in the room around retention, support, and attraction of business. Um, we focus, our team focuses specifically on the unincorporated parts of, of the county. Um, we work through partnership and collaboration with you all, um, in attraction and, and, um, retention of businesses. Um, in other parts of the county, um, working super closely with the community colleges, with the Workforce Development Board as well. Um, I listed some key data and resources for more information here. Um, and then um, please reach out to us. So with that, I'll take any questions. Thank you. Um, not really a question. I just really wanted to highlight, Allison, you and your team's efforts to bring folks out, uh, particularly to Far East County, I'm biased, but for, through the whole northern waterfront on tours and, and really showing off some of the potential that we have out there. And I want to encourage uh, some of our regional partners and folks that if you guys are interacting with electeds and, and business leaders, um, to please make those connections and, and allow um, us at the local level to bring them out and really showcase some of the opportunity that we have um, across the northern waterfront, Byron Airport being one of them. So just wanted to highlight that and, and really emphasize that point. So 
Well, great job, awesome. Thank All you. Right. Got some minutes back. Thank you. Thank you.